Hello, everyone. Welcome to another Journalist Toolbox training. My name is Mike Riley, your trainer once again. Um, today, we're going to scrape data uh, from a PDF using uh, ChatGPT. Uh, we're also going to use a tool called LLM Journalism Tool Advisor. I've done a previous training video on that, and that link is right here. Um, for this handout, if you want to use it and actually work along with the video, uh, just hit the pause button and put in bit.ly slash AI scraping 25. Uh, and you'll uh, have this full document. You can work through the exercise with me. All right, now that you've uh, opened up the document here, um, open up LLM Tool Advisor. I just want to show you how it works uh, uh, before we actually dig in and, and uh, use it to extract data from a PDF and put it into a uh, uh, spreadsheet. Um, so LLM Tool Advisor, Joanne Ditas from the Center for Cooperative Media at Montclair State University, uh, built this uh, in 2025, uh, and uh, it does you know, offers you all kinds of different uh, tasks. And what it'll do is it'll write base prompts for you that you can then take and tweak, uh, and you know add in specifics for what your ever your task your it is you're doing, uh, and then you can uh, uh, you know use it in a large language model and it'll work. It also offers recommendations on which tool to use for that uh, certain task. Uh, so it's a great little uh, uh, resource. I, I pop into it from time to time. Uh, you know, when I'm, uh, you know, looking for a, a more effective prompt, maybe than something I've written. Um, so I'm going to do data analysis and visualization. And then uh, I can go into uh, generate code for data work or analyze a data set. But what we're going to do here is extract structured data from documents. That's what we're doing. We're extracting data from a table and a, doc, a document, in this case, PDF. Uh, and we're going to put it into a spreadsheet where we can sort it and do something with it. <clears throat> so he asks the source format, um, PDF scan documents or reports or web pages. We're going to do PDFs. And he recommends Gemini uh, 2.5 Pro, um, not the best tool for it. It oftentimes won't give you the spreadsheet. It actually gives you a uh, text file that you can take and then move over in, and convert into a, a PDF or a PDF. Uh, spreadsheet. Um, I actually want the spreadsheet that I can download, and, and usually uh, ChatGPT will do that for you. Um, scraping is still kind of a, a, a difficult task in, in large language models. Uh, there are certain tools like Julius and some formulas and some uh, scraping tools like Tabula, Tabula.technology, or uh, PDF to Excel that'll do it much quicker and more efficiently. But if you want to do it in a large language model, this is a way to do it. So he's got this sample prompt here, you know, I've uploaded you know, uploaded a 100-page uh, PDF report. And you'll mention however many pages. And the key here is that you want it to be C CSV formatted table with however many columns there are in the uh, uh, PDF. I need to open that up and look at it. And then give it the column headers, the titles for each column in here in quote marks, single quote marks. Um, and then do not include any other text or explanation. So it just gives you the data. Um, so uh, what I've done here is I've taken this base prompt and tweaked it to fit what I'm going to work with. And uh, this is the one we're going to copy and use. I've uploaded a one-page PDF report, uh, scanned the entire document, blah, 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 um, and uh, you know, a valued, uh, valid CSV formatted table with eight columns. I gave all these columns that are going to be in our, you know, uh, make the file a download of Excel or a Google Sheets file. Sometimes it won't do that, and you'll have to remind it a second time. I've run into that a few times. Um, and I've got a whole file here of PDFs you can scrape. Um, so if you can click on this little link down here, this bit.ly slash PDF scrape, and all of this information is also available in the description of this video. Um, so uh, you can download some of the PDFs and practice with them. I've also mentioned a couple of other tools uh, to pdf to excelcom and tabula.technology. Another tool that can do some scraping for you as well is Julius.ai. Um, it's a you know, very good uh, data analysis tool. It's good for you know, creating some simple graphics too. Um, so what we're going to do in this exercise is we're going to scrape the Nevada voter registration PDF. It'll be in this folder, and I'm going to open it up for you just so you can see the design uh, of, the, of the PDF and how the uh, layout, the table's laid out in it. So here's the actual PDF. And if you've got the paid version of Adobe Acrobat, you can go in here and do File Save As. 
uh, and export it as an Excel file and you're fine. But, you know, many times you don't have that available to you because uh, Acrobat Pro is, you know, fairly pricey. So here I've got each of the column headers, county, Democrat, you know, so I've done each of the labels. It has a header and a lot of instructions down here that I don't want it to do. I just want it to extract the data from this table. Now, a lot of people say, oh, you know, you can just copy and paste it. And no, it won't uh, do a good job of putting that into the uh, uh, spreadsheet. It'll just drop it into a single cell. Um, so we're going to scrape it uh, using uh, uh, this uh, specific uh, tool. Um, so I'm going to copy my uh, prompt here um, that I put in the type text and go to just regular chat GPT. You could ask, uh, you know, data analyst or, you know, one of the custom GPTs to do it too, but I'm just going to try it here in uh, chat GPT. Um, I'm going to click the plus sign and upload my file, which is the PDF. Um, and I'm going to scroll down here and find it. There's my PDF. Let it upload. When you get the little icon there, you're good to go. Uh, if you get red or error, you know, just upload it again. You know, file you know could be corrupted or something. You might have to download it again and move it in. Um, so, you know, that's uh, one way to go. go. And then you, you can drop in your prompt here. And I moved it up. Um, what I like about this is it runs Python. And it actually shows you how it's going through and analyzing the da data and it's extracting it. So you can actually see how it's working, um, uh, which is fun. Uh, you know, I like you know observing how it's using pandas to run this uh, uh, analysis. Um, and then we'll let it cook for a little while here. Um, and uh, while it's cooking, um, I think I'll show you a PDF to Excel. Um, this is a free online tool. Uh, you can upgrade to a premium account for $5 a month if you want a batch process. But this will also analyze PDFs. Uh, you can go in and I'll upload the same PDF here for you. I hit open uh, and it'll analyze. Sometimes it'll give you an error message, uh, but it'll take a second to convert. It goes much faster if you're doing the paid version. If you're just doing single files like I'm usually doing here, um, you know, the free version's just fine. And boom, it gave me download file. And I'm not going to download it because I, I want to, uh, you know, do it off of uh, uh, chat uh, uh, GPT. Um, uh, there's also tabula.technology. This is software you download to your uh, computer uh, and scrape off of that. Um, you know, this tool here, you know, you're uploading a file to the web. And even though they say they delete these files out after six hours, eh, I'm not so sure. This tool is very safe. It's taught at a lot of IRE and NICAR conferences. You download it for Mac or Windows. It's free. Uh, and you can actually scrape right on your uh, desk to desktop. Um, it actually opens up in a browser window, but you're e editing the, the or extracting the data locally, um, which is really nice. Um, so uh, those are a couple of other tools uh, that, quite frankly, I use more often because they're very efficient. But I'm starting to get into, you know, kind of playing around with this in AI, and it's going to get better and faster and more efficient. Um, and so the data has been extracted and saved. You can download the Excel file using the link below. Um, so I'll hit that download file, and hopefully uh, it, uh, uh, it extracted it and uh, did a good job. We'll open it up and see. You never quite know. Um, and there it is, uh, you know, Nevada voter registration. Um, and I'll replace it because I'd done one yesterday, uh, too. Um, so I went ahead and replaced it so you can see the new one. And there I opened it up, and lo and behold, I've got a nice clean data set here. Look at that. Hold in only the data and has the columns, uh, appropriate columns in it. Uh, I always boldface my totals across the bottom uh, when I'm editing uh, anything like this, uh, as well as the totals down the right hand side. And I always add this little, this is really important. Uh, this is taught in IRE uh, a lot as well, is to add what's called a data moat, a blank line in here if you have totals at the bottom. Really important if you're working with like budget uh, information or something. Uh, and here I can just take it in and sort and filter just this area. It keeps my totals out of it if it ever gets mixed in with the uh, rest of the data. Um, I would probably do this horizontally uh, or vertically as well. Um, I'd insert a column here um, and uh, you know just so I've got those totals uh, moved out. And then I can sort and filter and do whatever I want with any of this. Double check the numbers, make sure they add up properly each, uh, uh, each direction, things like that. Um, so I'll go ahead and save that, and uh, you know, just so you can kind of see how this works. You can try it in Claude. You can try it in uh, uh, 
Gemini as well. Um, but I like this because it actually gives me a downloadable Excel file. It actually puts it in the software I want it in, as opposed to having to copy it over as a text file uh, in there. So I'll download, hit download here, and, and see if uh, PDF to Excel did a good job uh, as well. Um, there it is again. The problem with PDF to Excel is you can't choose what you want it to uh, extract. Uh, it just brings in everything. So I'd have to do some cleaning on this spreadsheet. So you can see it brought in the header and, and all this information down here. So I just have to go through and clean this out. Uh, so, you know, it requires a little more work. I mean, if you have a real dirty data set, uh, maybe doing the, the prompt in uh, uh, chat GPT might be a little bit better because you can give it some specific instructions and just tell them, I only want this and not that. Nice thing about tabula is you can select or it will auto select only the tables that you want. Um, so it leaves everything else behind. And that also makes you uh, much more efficient. Um, just as a reminder, um, you know, uh, to take advantage of this exercise, go ahead and play around with it yourself. Try some of the other uh, uh, PDFs as well that I've got in this folder. I'll open it up. Uh, just remember to change the headers and number of columns uh, that you want it to scrape, or if it's multi-page. Uh, you know, some of these, the sidewalk FOIA PDF is several pages. Um, so it's the North Carolina data that I've got here. It's uh, several pages. So, um, you know, experiment with these and, and play around with them a little bit. Uh, you can find many scraping tools on the Journalist Toolbox, journalisttoolbox.ai. I've operated this website for 29 years. In the last two years, I've focused on AI tools. Uh, you can go into this data scraping or data tools sections uh, here and find more scraper tools. I've got a lot of AI-driven ones up here uh, that'll do many different uh, tasks. I've got some a uh, formula based, uh, you know, things you could do with spreadsheets uh, and little training videos built in here as well. That'll be helpful, including this video. It'll be up here on this page uh, as well. Um, and all kinds of tools in here with short descriptions. Um, also over here on the right hand rail, uh, we have a list of all the 130 training videos, as well as our newsletter that comes out every other Tuesday. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel and see all of the videos there. Um, there's, as I mentioned, more than 130 now, uh, and you can uh, go in and open them up. They, they play anywhere from five minutes up to 15 minutes. I've got a couple 20 minute ones in here that are a little longer, but uh, uh, you know, most of them have an exercise or some type of task you could do with it. Uh, not just AI tools, it also has editing video and audio on your phone and uh, data visualization tools, all kinds of fun stuff up here. Um, so share that with your staff. The newsletter comes out every other Tuesday morning, usually around 8 a.m. Eastern time. Um, it uh, focuses typically on one tool or one task. Uh, this is a post we had about Sofiana, which is a cool uh, phone app uh, that was built for journalists by a journalist, uh, which is really cool. Um, and then some links down here to other tools and helpful readings. So you can get through this pretty quickly. Um, it's a pretty short newsletter. Uh, we also have a chat bot now that's featured on the rail as well, right here, custom GPT. Um, and uh, you can go in and open it up uh, and it gives you four starter prompts here, but really you could just go in here and it's been trained on journalist toolbox uh, materials. Uh, and uh, you can ask it all kinds of questions about best tools for certain types of tasks. And uh, it'll extract information first from the journalist toolbox, and then it'll go to other reliable sources. Um, I tell, you know, steer it away from things like Wikipedia and uh, uh, Reddit and things like that. So I try to give you some good information. So take advantage of that uh, uh, journalist toolbox, custom GPT, uh, and stick around for our uh, upcoming videos. We've got some nice ones coming up. So I uh, hope you all have a great day and take this tool for a spin. You'll have a lot of fun with it. Take care, everybody.